What's happening everybody, welcome back to the channel, I am your boy The Dazman and we are back for another texture pack review. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the Fairy Tale texture pack. To give it its proper name I think it's Fairy Tale 16X by Giggleblock Studios. Only recently released, it's been rated a 4.2 by 25 users. It costs 990 mine coins, which works out as about £4.90 or whatever that is in your local currency. And we're going to check it out so make sure you drop a like leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and while you're doing that i'll load up a brand new world and we'll see how the fairy tale looks okay so i'm expecting it to be a really nice and magical world here we go Ooh. okay all right it's definitely not realistic which is good because we've been doing quite a few realisms before we look at the animals let's go and have a look and just see if we go and find a nice area to just have a look around now i thought it said something along the lines of foliage for the trees doesn't look like it everything seems quite flat it seems quite flat quite melted in if that makes sense the way the green just merges constantly i mean it's not bad though it's very saturated or well, we've got a village over there as well but yeah we've got yeah, look at the, the colors, they, they don't, they blend into each other. They don't stand out at all green on green. There's no like outline to the designs. It's quite soft though, if that makes sense. Like it's not harsh on the eyes. It is very, very soft. Very green in this open area as well. Don't know what you guys are thinking, but I think this is very green in this area. Now, if we go over the snow, Obviously, white is just white. Oh, there's a bit of a weird blue in there, though. Bit of a weird blue to give off some waves. That actually, it's kind of nice. I don't quite see what's so fairy tale about it, but it's definitely soft. Oh, we have a goat. We might as well have a look at a goat. We don't look at these often. How you doing, Mr. Goat? Nothing special there. Really, nothing special there, to be honest. But, hmm. I don't see... That was my villager impression right there, by the way. Hmm... I don't see why it's so magical. Why it's so fairy tale. Maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know why this is called fairy tale. Because it doesn't seem to be very fairy tale. Let's see if we can see some animals now. I know we had some animals a little bit earlier, but let's see if we can see them now. And just see how they've changed and if they've done anything nice. We'll go towards the village as well so we can have a look at those mobs. Definitely very vibrant saturated and vibrant i think is what this is called let me know in the comments if i've chosen the wrong name why do i always close my eyes when i do these i don't know and then yeah let's have a look what's this what's this we got a bunny why is there a bunny here is this part of the mod that there's like hundreds and thousands of bunnies how you doing buddy you okay do you have eyes is that your eye right there okay very plain black bunny not bad though, not bad. Oh, look at the ocean. The ocean is bright blue. Yes, very sad. You could make some good thumbnails with this. You could make some very good thumbnails with this, you know. Don't judge my thumbnail. But this, yeah, you could probably make some really good thumbnails. What is that block? What is that? White terracotta. What? That's terracotta. I would never have guessed. I would never have guessed. It's very polished, isn't it? I do like how polished it is. I do kind of like how soft and how, how bright it is. How are you, buddy? Look at the nose on you. Although, you know what? I like this. He's blushing as well. How you doing, buddy? You okay? I actually like... This is my favorite mob. From all the texture pack reviews that I've done so far, this is my favorite villager mob. Yeah, this guy right here. I like it. I really do like... Oh, we got some pigs coming as well. Hello, pigs. Percy. One of you is going to be Percy. Whoa, hello. You got a wamp forehead though, buddy. Look at the size of your forehead. Your forehead's so big, it's a five head and change. Look at that. But again, very vibrant, very pink. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get rid of this terracotta. We don't need that terracotta on us. And then if we go over to here. Oh, wow, look, we got the big guy. We got the big guy. This guy's name. I don't know what this guy's name is. Frank, Bob, Jim. How you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, look at that. I like this as well, you know. I actually really like this. This is different. Different to what we normally have. I like that. What was this? 990 coins? Yeah, I can I can play with that. That's not too bad. We've got a cow over here as well. We've got some cats. Oh look, this guy's guy's wearing a green jacket. Hey there, buddy. Your trousers don't fit you though, mate. 
Your ankles are showing. You got a crazy nose though, innit? Are you sniffing out trouble? I, I like these mobs. I like these villager mobs. This so far is actually a really big dub. I think this is really nice. Let me know in the comments if you agree, but I really do think this is a really nice mob, uh, mod pack or texture pack, whatever you want to call it. We've got some sheep over here. How did this shit? Oh, we got a little cow. That cow popped out of nowhere as well. He's got some wide eyes, isn't he? Oh, you're angry. Look at your eyebrows. And the cow. I like the cow. The cow's nice. The cow's blushing. The cow's face is quite busy, so it doesn't look like the eyes are so wide, whereas the, the sheep, massive eyes, look at those eyes. I can see out both sides of his face. There we go. Oh, we have a pirate here. Arr, Jim lad, how you doing? You're a blushing pirate. Oh, you know why he's blushing, isn't it? He saw that the seaweed. <laughs> yeah, that was bad, all right? That was bad. You know it was bad. I know it was bad. The dogs know it was bad. We all know it was bad, all right? It was bad. This village has definitely been a win for me so far. Hopefully it keeps the same kind of energy for the uh, aggro mobs, the bad guys, you know. Hopefully it does. But yeah, I just like it. I just like, look, the clothes look so cool on the villagers. Yeah, I like this. This is all right. Terracotta is a bit weird. Terracotta is a little bit weird. The game even keeps that kind of soft energy as we trans, like, transform or merge into a more reddish brownish color it still looks quite pretty this is it these colors are really complementing themselves really nice they have been so easy we've seen on previous texture packs for us to go towards the darker blocks and then it starts to get dirty dull grim this still keeps warmth I like this. Yeah, you could play this. I think I feel like you could definitely play this. For 990 mine coins, it's definitely worth it. I think while we wait for the sun to go down, let's have a little look and just see the blocks. The doors look weird. The doors definitely do look weird. Glass looks very high definition. Or maybe that's just me, but they look very shiny there on the glass. A few blocks don't look like they've changed too much. Which sometimes is good, you know. Minimal. Change change a little bit. You got the lily of the valley right there as well don't really care about spawn eggs yeah it's definitely made it everything a little bit softer what's that a clock okay clock has completely changed things are definitely a lot softer they look nice though they do look nice i cannot tell a lie getting a little bit of a hint there at what the mobs look like but yeah you know what it doesn't change everything drastically it just makes things brighter warmer softer and that's not necessarily a bad thing right i've got my flint and steel and my obsidian for the next step but first let's go and check out what this creeper and skeleton are looking like now we know skeleton okay i like it i like it for me the texture packs they live or die on what their skeletons look like really and this doesn't look terrible the bow may be a little bit too big for the guy but yeah they haven't added in a stupid mouth, a stupid smiley face. They've just kept it simple and basic. And I like that, that is very nice. We've got the creeper over here as well. How are we looking with a creeper? The creeper's blushing. It's a blushing creeper. What did you do, buddy? Why are you so embarrassed? Did you do something weird? Did you blow something up? Did you? Did you hug something you shouldn't have hugged? Crazy. Very bright green though, isn't it? But then I suppose it has to be very bright green to stand out on the very bright green grass. What have we got? Well, I say stand out, blend in, really. What have we got with the spider now? Spider, oh my god, spider's got like 19,000 eyes. Look at all the eyes. The more eyes you decorate on a spider, the more the spider looks scary, in my opinion. And then we've got the zombie. Zombie's gone a complete different way to the passive mobs. The eyes have come in, they're narrower narrow they've kept the clothing though again it's it's quite cute i think this is quite cute i think you're quite cute buddy yeah you are quite cute i think all right and then, whoa okay wasn't expecting that that is a very different design right there okay let's go and check out what the never looks like can it keep the warmth i think it can you know straight away seeing the green i think it can can it keep the warmth? It's a lava plate bait. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'm hilarious, you know. Sometimes I'm hilarious. Definitely is warm. They've gone a lot darker, though, with the Neverrack, I feel. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, my. You've come out of nowhere. Even you looking at it. Is that your brain sticking out? Oh, my Lord. 
That is not what I was expecting. That is definitely not what I was expecting there. He's climbing up the lava. Oh my God. That is not a fairy tale. That is of nightmares, that. Oh my gosh and golly, how are you guys doing? I feel like not a lot of these mobs change. These, that is very weird. That is very, I don't like that. I don't like that as never gold ore. They don't change these guys though, the piglins much. Maybe because they're still relatively new. I don't know, but this was an updated mod pack. So I don't know about that, but this guy, this guy's scary. Jeez, that guy, that guy, yeah, that guy's scary. We gotta get out of there. Let's see if we can find ourselves a fortress. Okay, we found one. We found ourselves a fortress here. This guy was a little bit enclosed. There isn't much open area either. Let's get in here and see. Wow, look at that. Straight away, we've got some people. Okay, cute again. Cute and friendly. Be a bit surprising when we were in survival and start getting attacked by these guys. What we got in here? Gold ingot. I don't like the gold ingot. Horse armors are cute, but I don't like the gold ingots. I'm on the hunt for wither skeletons. Find them straight away. Grey. Now, you haven't gone full black. They've gone a bit grey scale. And again, they've just, yeah, it's just a reskin skeleton, which is what you would expect. Although, I'm not sure I agree with him being the same color as his weapon, but okay. Questionable sentence. Um, but yeah, let's see, this hasn't changed either. Jeez, could you imagine coming down this corridor though, just to get to, what does, fighting all of that, what does this get you? A diamond, okay. One diamond for running this gauntlet. It's like six wither skeletons, a blaze wow okay yeah I, I like how cute it looks i don't like that it's the same monotone color as the weapon though that's a bit weird let's go and check out the enderman and the ender dragon okay so we find ourselves in what is this area this is uh acacia so we've got acacia going on is this a tiger biome no this is not a tiger biome what is this complete brain freeze i'm sorry but if we go straight down underneath this village, we will find ourselves the stronghold. So let's go. And let's go and see what we got going for us. Hopefully I didn't move around too much. There we are. Okay, we are here. Mossy cobblestone and mossy stone. Not too bad. Got an apple in there. That's not bad at all. What's this way? Oh, that would have been crazy if we found it straight away, right? Now, it is a bit of an overload with all of the green and the gray, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. And we found it straight away. Normally that takes a lot longer to find. That looks kind of cool. This, all right, yeah, no, I like this. This is nice. They haven't changed, again, haven't changed too much. Just enough to let you know something's changed, but that's not the end of the world. Let's do a magic trick now and light this portal. And there we go, it's lit. And somebody's actually changed the void. I didn't think this was possible, but the void has changed to a much lighter blue. Again, soft, cute. Come on, I'm expecting the Ender Dragon to look like a massive fairy, come on. Please don't ruin this for me. ND, where you at? ND, what we got with the Enderman? Enderman quite basic, a little bit boring on the Enderman there. ND, where you at? She does like an entrance, doesn't she? taking forever okay she looks very different very different are those her eyes on the side of her head i would chase her but she's gonna move around a lot is that her eye here, here she is here she is that is her eye oh wow okay so this has to be the most drastic change to the ender dragon as well in all of the reviews that i've done so far as well i like the purple hue the little outline the purple tone on top of her the eyes very prominent they're either eyes or their cheeks she, she's either got big purple eyes or she's blushing I'm not sure but she looks cool man she looks very very cool I yeah I like that let me know what you guys think but I like that be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think is very important but I do I like that and look she's got little scales on the back of her neck as well okay yeah she's cool she's cool again not sure why it's a fairy tale maybe fairy tales have changed oh hello but I, I like that. Endy, I like you. I like you, Endy. 
Okay, so now in this inconspicuous little area, this is where the stronghold is. This happens a lot. It happens a lot that I say stronghold when I mean ancient city, yes. But also, that seems to spawn a lot next to ancient cities, which is down below. So let's go and have a look and see what our pillagers. It's always nice to take advantage of these things while we're here. Now, are the pillagers going to look cute? Is it possible to have a cute pillager? Will I finally see an LA? Oh my God, the questions. <gasps> that looked like an LA. That looked like an LA. It would be the fairy tales. Do you, do you see how many of those guys just came out of there? Good Lord, wait your turn, guys. Wait your turn. This is my first ever time seeing an LA and they actually look like fairy tales. They do. At least I think this is the first time I've seen them. They actually do look quite fair. They have wands. <laughs> they actually have a wand. I love it. That's so cool. All right. So now that we've seen the LAs, they actually look really, really pretty. Oh my God. We've got an iron golem in here as well. Jeez, you guys are just keeping everybody captive. What's wrong with you guys? Oh my God. You look like a gray green. You look like green. Do you have a waffle on the back of your head? No, no, you don't quite have a waffle on the back here. But you guys look like a green. Come out, dude. Come out, come deal with these guys. Freedom is all yours. Freedom is all yours. Do they all look the same? It's like an army of Greens. Is that just me? Am I wrong? Does it or does that look like Green? I really think that looks like Green. I'm definitely sure. I'm definitely sure they took inspiration from Green on that design. But I digress. We was going to have a look at the ancient city to try and see the warden let's go and see the warden and you know what i'm gonna do something a little bit different i don't do it often we're gonna spawn the wither as well and we're gonna see if the wither has anything to do with fairy tale in this because all right the la had a wand but other than that i haven't seen much in terms of fairy tale aspects just bright and colorful really not much change down here though. Again, new blocks, maybe they haven't changed it too much. And now let's have a look. Does that mean that the warden's not gonna have a pretty little bow on it on his head? I don't know, let's have a look. All right, this guy was a pain to spawn, but it sounds like he's finally here. Where is he? Where is he? There he is, okay, there he is. All right, so the blue is very prominent on him. Oh, he's going straight to lava for me as well, so we can see him. Look at the blue. The blue looks nice. The blue does look very nice. Hello. How are you? Okay, I've definitely seen worse. I have definitely seen worse. Look at that. He's got, like, dripping stuff off his horns. I mean, yeah, I deal with that. That's not too bad. How are you, buddy? You okay? I do like the little flashy thing in the stomach. I'm actually very happy with this. This whole kind of texture pack has been very nice. It's definitely getting a plus from me. Let's go back up onto the top surface and spawn a wither and see if there's any change there. All right, so I've managed to find a nice open area and this isn't how you spawn the wither. It doesn't take two skulls and your own. It takes three skulls. Boom, there we go. We got the wither out here. He's in the recharge zone. Now, is it gonna be pretty? Let's see, let's see. Kaboom, he's destroyed the world. Dirt looks very much like Neverack. He's very happy and smiley, isn't he? Look at that. Hey, he's running away. He's running away. Hey, where you going? Oh, Lord. We've unleashed hell. Again, this isn't fairy tale. This is definitely a nightmare. But hey, what can you do? Guys, this has been the fairy tale review. I actually really like the fairy tale texture pack. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Make sure you leave a like on the video as well. And if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. If you have any ideas for other texture packs that I should check out, let me know down in the comments as well. I'll try and check them out at some point. Hopefully they won't be too expensive. And yeah, if there's anything you want to see in these texture pack reviews, let me know as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.